My parents thought I should go to Paris because that's the way people used to think. If you're going to be an artist, you had to go to Paris. So I went to Paris for the summer and went to the Academy Julian. And at night, we drew in the Academy de la Grande Chaumier. And uh, it, was, it was something because I, I was staying in a pension. And uh, Bob Rauschenberg was staying in the same pension. He was there on the GI Bill and going to the same art school that I did, so I couldn't have missed him if I tried. And, uh, and so we met, of course, right away, and went to school together, and went drawing together at the Academy de la Grande Chaumier. And uh, we both were workers of painting. We both loved to paint all the time, and um, so we had a great dialogue. I did a portrait of Bob, and. You know, we did these different paintings, but we set it up in the in the uh, rest area in the pension, and there was a, a a oriental carpet there, and we'd paint, and then there'd be a little spot of color that would go on the carpet, so we'd look at that, and we'd paint an equivalent spot on the other three positions of the carpet, and and you didn't notice it, you know, if you as long as it was symmetrical. I just loved knowing somebody who was that passionate about painting, and he was so much fun. And he, you know, when I was a teenager, and he had been in the Navy and everything, so he was a lot older than me. And um, so I thought, I, th I thought he was pretty grand, and he he was he was very lively minded and and very much fun and a very positive person. One thing that was very noticeable about Bob is he had a huge laugh. So he'd be in the dining room having coffee or something, and I would hear this enormous laugh. It, it was very funny, and so many people still remember his, his laugh being enormous. We went to town and got a roll of blueprint paper, and the first blueprint uh, the idea of it is you're using the sun as the medium, uh, and the uh, unexposed blueprint paper, we laid it out and put my little brother on it because he was a kid, didn't fit on it, and we surrounded him with flowers and leaves and seashells and stuff. And so my little brother was the first blueprint. And then we loved it, you know, and then we began making... Uh, blueprints when we were in our house in New York, and it, it was just so magical. We were using those lights to expose the paper, and you could draw with them because, you know, where you aimed it is where the paper got the widest and so on, and it was an exciting thing, and then they got so, so kind of beautiful and interesting. I remember Jack Twerkoff, we met him at at the club, and we talked to him about about his work, and he uh, invited us to his exhibition at Charles Egan, and we went there, and uh, and he said, "Well, if you like my work, I want to see your work," and that was so generous and sweet because we were young students, you know, and he came and saw our work, and we became fast friends, and. Um, and de Kooning, we knew, met de Kooning, and we, Roscoe, Roscoe's work was so exciting, and uh, Barney Newman, everybody knew everybody. It was a, a wild world. It was, the artists were this happy community that nobody else cared about, but it changed after that. <laughs>